Well, today, crews started replacing thousands of water meters in Tyler. As KLTV 7's Lauren Tier tells us, customers could see a change in their monthly water bills because of the new meter's improved reading accuracy. This has definitely been on our radar for a few years now. According to Tyler Water Utilities project engineer Jacob Yanker, the average water meter needs to be replaced every 15 to 20 years. About 27% of the city's existing meters have problems reading accurately, not registering consumption, or not communicating consumption to the water business office. Yanker says cities including Waco and Frisco recommended the reliability and infrastructure of the new Neptune meters. We're uh, eliminating the manual reads uh, with the drive-by system and, and the AMI system. Um, they're they're going to have accurate bills. They're going to be billed accurately for the amount of water that they use uh, in a given month. <clears throat> and they're going to be getting a new meter that's going to be that's going to be good for 15 to 20 years. The city saying bills will most likely be higher for some as meters read slower as they age. Crews are starting on the northeast side of Tyler and will work counterclockwise to each property. We're going to be doing this during normal business hours, so the majority of uh, houses are probably going to be vacant, uh, but if we do see water being used, we're not going to replace that meter and stop water flow. Federal ARPA funding will cover the replacement costs for 8,000 meters. Customers whose meters will be replaced in this first phase should have been notified by mail and will be reminded with a door hanger one to two weeks before the replacement. The crews are going to take around 30 to 60 minutes to, to replace the meter. An additional $1 million in the city's 2025 proposed budget would cover the other 3,000 meters, bringing the total to 11,000. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. And to learn more about the process and how it could affect your monthly bill, scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen or click on the big red box at KLTV.com. The full project is expected to be complete, we're told, by December of 2025.